A person leaves home and walks two miles west and then four miles southwest. How far from home is the person? And also, in what direction must the person walk to head directly home? We want to give the answer in degrees north of east. So we'll model this using vectors. So if a person walks two miles west, or in this direction west, we can model this piece of the walk using this vector here. Notice how the direction is west, and because the person walked two miles, the magnitude of this vector would be two. So if we call this vector v sub one, we can say that the magnitude of vector v sub one equals two, and the vector would be in this direction. Next, the person walks four miles southwest, which would be in this direction here, and therefore we can model this piece of the walk using this vector, where notice how the direction is southwest, and because the distance is four miles, if we call this vector v sub two, we can say that the magnitude of vector v sub two equals four. So to determine how far the person is from home, we would want to find the magnitude of the resultant vector, or the sum of these two vectors, which would be this vector here. So if we call this vector r, our goal is to find the magnitude of the resultant vector, where again the resultant vector would be the sum of these two vectors. So to find the resultant vector, we'll write vector v sub one and v sub two in component form, then find their sum, then find the magnitude of the resultant vector to answer this first question about how far the person is from home. Let's first write vector v sub one in component form. Now because the direction is west, we should be able to recognize that the x component of the vector would be negative two, and the y component would be zero. Now for vector v sub two though, for the x component, we'll use x equals the magnitude times cosine theta, and the y component is equal to the magnitude times sine theta. Where we know the magnitude is four, but we'll have to determine theta, where theta is a direction when the initial point is at the origin. So notice how if the direction is southwest, theta is measured from the positive x-axis, or this axis here, so notice how theta would be equal to 180 plus 45, or 225 degrees. So the x component would be four cosine 225 degrees, and the y component would be four sine 225 degrees. Now let's determine these trig function values. To do this, we'll sketch a reference triangle using the terminal side of our angle theta. So the reference triangle would be this triangle here, and we should be able to recognize this would be a 45, 45, 90 reference triangle. So we know the relationship among the three sides would be one, one, square root two, but because we're in the third quadrant, both the x component and y components would be negative. So using our reference triangle, cosine 225 degrees would be equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which would be negative one divided by square root two. Notice if we rationalize this though, we would have negative square root two divided by two. So for vector v sub two, the s component would be four times negative square root two divided by two, and then for sine 225 degrees, that would be the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which is still negative one divided by square root two, or negative square root two divided by two. So the y component is also four times negative square root two divided by two. So simplifying vector v sub two would have an x component of negative two square root two, and the y component would also be negative two square root two. Okay, so now that we have vector v sub one and vector v sub two in component form, to find the resultant vector, we'll find the sum of these two vectors, where again, vector r is equal to vector v sub one plus vector v sub two. Let's find this sum on the next slide. So the resultant vector is equal to 
Adding the x components, we'd have negative 2 minus 2 square root 2. Adding the y components, we just have negative 2 square root 2. Now again, to find the distance from home, we want to find the magnitude of vector r. So we would take the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared. And now we'll grow the calculator. So we have square root, and then in parentheses we have negative two minus two square root two, right arrow, close parenthesis squared, and then plus in parentheses negative two square root two, right arrow, close parenthesis, and squared. Enter. So the total distance from home would be approximately 5.5959 miles. So this is the answer to the first part of the question. And now for the second part of the question, we want to determine in what direction must the person walk to head directly home. So notice how I sketched the resultant vector on the coordinate plane this time. If the person wants to walk directly home, they would walk in the opposite direction or in this direction here. So we're looking for this angle here, we'll call it angle alpha, which would be the number of degrees north of east. Again, we just found the resultant vector has an x component of negative two minus two square root two and a y component of negative two square root two. And we know that tangent theta would be equal to y divided by x. So if tangent theta is equal to negative two square root two divided by the quantity negative two minus two square root two, this tells us that theta would be equal to, if we take the inverse tangent on both sides, this would be theta equals inverse tangent of this ratio. Now remember our angle theta, this angle here, is actually in the third quadrant, but remember the range of inverse tangent is from negative pi over two, is the open interval from negative 90 degrees to positive 90 degrees. And since tangent theta is positive in both the first and third quadrants, this inverse tangent function value should return our angle alpha, which would be the number of degrees north of east. Let's go ahead and give it a try. We do want to make sure that we are in degree mode, so we'll press the mode key, go down to the third row here, highlight degree, press enter, and now back to the home screen, and we'll press second tangent, and then the numerator in parentheses would be negative two square root two, right arrow, close parenthesis, divided by, in parentheses, negative two, minus two square root two. Right arrow, close parenthesis, and another close parenthesis, and enter. So again, notice how this angle is in the first quadrant, so it is the angle we're looking for, or the number of degrees north of east, for this person to head directly home. Notice how the direction of the resultant vector would actually be this angle plus 180 degrees. So we'll say our angle is approximately 30.3612 degrees north of east. I hope you found this helpful.